These are Thomas Paine's words from The American Crisis, April 1777. In the progress of politics, as in the common occurrences of life, we are not only apt to forget the ground we have traveled over, but frequently neglect to gather up experience as we go. We expend, if I may so say, the knowledge of every day on the circumstances that produce it, and journey on in search of new matter and new refinements. But as it is pleasant and sometimes useful to look back even to the first periods of infancy and trace the turns and windings through which we have passed, so we may likewise derive many advantages by halting a while in our political career and taking a review of the wondrous, complicated labyrinth of little more than yesterday. Truly, may we say, that never did man grow old in so short a time. We have crowded the business of an age into the compass of a few months and have been driven through such a rapid succession of things that, for want of leisure to think, we unavoidably wasted knowledge as we came and have left nearly as much behind us as we brought with us. But the road is yet rich with the fragments. And before we fully lose sight of them, will repay us for the trouble of stopping to pick them up. Were a man to be totally deprived of memory, he would be incapable of forming any just opinion. Everything about him would seem a chaos. He would have even his own history to ask from everyone. And by not knowing how the world went on in his absence, he would be at a loss to know how it ought to go on when he recovered, or rather, returned to it again. In like manner, though in a less degree, a too great inattention to past occurrences retards and bewilders our judgment in every thing, while, on the contrary, by comparing what is past with what is present, we frequently hit on the true character of both and become wise with very little trouble. It is a kind of countermarch by which we get into the rear of time and mark the movements and meanings of things as we make our return. There are certain circumstances which, at the time of their happening, are kind of riddles. And as every riddle is to be followed by its answer, so those kind of circumstances will be followed by their events. And those events are always the true solution. A considerable space of time may lapse between, and unless we continue our obs observations from the one to the other, the harmony of them will pass away unnoticed. But the misfortune is that partly from the pressing necessity of some instant things, and partly from the impatience of our own tempers, we are frequently in such a hurry to make out the meaning of everything as fast as it happens that we thereby never truly understand it, and not only start new difficulties to ourselves by so doing, but, as it were, embarrass Providence in her good designs.